Hey, welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are here today because I have got a new palette and those are always my most favorite videos to do and my most favorite thing to play. So this was not originally on my wish list. It was kind of like, I might buy it, but I might not because you guys know I do not need any of these colors in my collection. I'm sure I already have all of them, but I was in Ulta and there was one left, okay? They're sold out like everywhere. So it's like it was screaming at me to buy it and it was meant to be. <laughs> so I picked it up. It is the Emily Edit The Wants. Um, she also has the Needs palette. I definitely don't need the Needs palette, um, but I did pick up the one. So it's $20 and I had the 20% off coupon, so it was $16, which is a pretty good deal because there's 24 shades, so that's less than a dollar a shade. And today we are going to do some swatches. I have got this look. And then I'm going to give you my first impression on it. So this is only my second time playing with it. We'll get started with some swatches and then we will go in to this look that I did today. And then I will let you know what I'm thinking of it. If you are not subscribed yet, I do hope that you click that red subscribe button. It means a lot. And like this video, click that little notifications bell so you know when new videos come. I am going to be doing a three looks, one palette with this as well because I see some different kind of combos that I want to do. So let's go ahead and get started with the swatches. We are going to start with the first row. These have names, so that'll be a little easier. So we have got the cream. So that's just a, it's kind of the shade of my uh, no tan watch. And hobby. And prayer. I used prayer today in my transition. Grateful. Good vibes. And side hustle. Far, those are all really creamy, really pigmented colors. Look at, oh, look how pretty this one is. It's got a little bit of a shift to it. That's good vibes. All right, next we've got Midwest. Dues Paid and Eva Rose. So these are all named after um, Eva Rose is her daughter. And just different things that mean something to her in her life. So I think that's really cool. Next we have Bella Violet, who's her other daughter. And Capricorn. And Pi-Fi. All right, so that is row two. Bella Violet doesn't swatch really well, but I do have it on today in the inner corner and I thought it wore really well. Row three, we have got Oh Heavens, Love Tons, and Pizzazz. And then Family, Top Story, and Apartment. So that is row three. What did I have on today? I have on pizzazz and family today. Last row, we've got cupcake, laugh, cry, and cheer. Heartbeat, corduroy, and dark and early. So that's the last row. That would be a really pretty row to use together. The pinks and the greens. So that is the last row. I'm gonna see some different looks I'm gonna do, but I'll have a three looks one palette coming up too. And I think I wanna do like something pinky, something greeny, and then a neutral. But I'm not sure what I wanna start with in the crease for this color. I might start with prayer right here. So that is more of a cool tone neutral color. So I don't typically start with <laughs> neutrals in my crease, but we are going to today, and I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush. This is my Wet n Wild P20, so I'm going to start with Prayer in the transition area. So already I'll just show you guys. There, there was a lot of kick up with that. Um, but that does not bother me and it's not a determining factor on whether I like a palette or not. But I know some people like to know that. So we'll have to see with the other mattes if there is too. 
All right, and then I know next I'm gonna go in with Family, with is this color here, and I'm gonna put that in the crease. And I'm gonna use a pinched blending brush for that if I can find one of mine. Here's one. Oh, yeah, I had a bright color on there. So let's use our Ulta Switch Pan. So this one is just gonna go in the crease area. Yeah, there's a lot of kick up on that one too. So I'm guessing that all the mats probably have a lot of kick up, but like I said, that does not bother me. It doesn't help decide if I'm gonna like a palette or not. Honestly, I don't really even notice it except for to tell other people because that is something that other people do care about. So what I'm doing is I'm just patting this one right in that crease. I don't necessarily want to like blend this all over the eye. I just want to focus it right there. So I'm just kind of patting it right in there. I didn't have any issues blending out that neutral color. What was it? Prayer. And this one is applying really nice as well. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in on the outer corner and I'm gonna use the, the darker one. This is Pi Fi right here. And then I might go in with some brown as well. Let's see how deep this is. Okay, so I'm going to pull this one. It's not too dark, so I'm just pulling this one half, halfway in. And then I'm going to take Apartment, which is the brown. And I'll just put that like on the very, very outer part. This is, I think this is a vintage company. Yeah, vintage company brush. This was from a BoxyCharm. You know, they sell vintage company at... Ulta, but I don't know if they have brushes. I know that my hairband is Vintage Company. Um, okay, so now we're gonna take a little bit of the brown and I'm gonna take it on a really tiny blending brush. This is the Morphe 507. And I don't want a ton, I just want a little bit of a deeper color right there. back in with prayer which was that first lighter brown shade we used and just blending that right above family and then I'm gonna go back in with family on this one just place it right in the crease there all right and then I just got gosh what is this called this is called an eye crease brush it's really more of a pencil brush, I think. It's just too tiny for your crease. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna take Family, and I want that color across most of the lower lash line, and I'm gonna put a purple gel liner in there on its waterline as well. So I did just drop the palette, and everything's all still where it's supposed to be. You never know when you drop a palette if it's gonna end up with some colors breaking. All right, I'm going to take, ooh, just a flat shader brush. All right, so I'm gonna have two different shimmer shades on my lid and I'm gonna start with Pizzazz, which is this color right here. So it's a little bit deeper of a purple. And then the other one I'm going to do is Bella Violet. So that's just a little bit lighter of a purple. Uh, I am going to spray these because I like to spray my shimmer shades. And then... So then I'm just applying that on the middle part of the lid. And I'm just going to save this little corner for that Bella Violet color. 
I really like that pizzazz color. It's almost got like a hint of burgundy in it. Um, that's pretty, like a mauve purple with a hint of burgundy. Very pretty. All right, the next shade I'm gonna use is that Bella Violet shade, so it's this one right here. And I'm gonna take that on a little bit smaller of a brush because I am gonna bring that into the inner corner as well. Alright, so I'm just kind of bringing that around the inner corner so it's going to be my inner corner highlight too. And then just blending it in to pizzazz. I almost think these work better without being sprayed. Let's see. Huh. Interesting. I think I'm going to put a light, Lasting Drama Light Liner from Maybelline in there. I have it in, it's the purple one, let's see what it's called, Moonlight Purple. So I'm going to put that on the waterline. Very happy with this look. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, liner and mascara and I will be back with some final thoughts. Okay, I am back with the final look and are ready for our first impression. I put on an ultra satin lip from ColourPop in the color Darling. It, I actually feel like this is more matte than their matte one. Um, I really like their matte ones and their ultra matte ones. Um, this one, we're going to have to see about this. All right, so what else did I put on? I put on the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara and the Man Eater um, for my wing liner. So let's talk about this palette. Let me show you a close-up. So there's the look. I thought it came out really pretty today. So, so far, I'm loving this palette. It is not necessarily like my overall color scheme that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. You guys know I like things a little more bright and colorful, but I think it's gonna be a good palette for days where I wanna tone it down a bit. This might not be toned down for some people, but it's way toned down for me. Um, but I could still get a colorful look. So that's what I've gone on today, and that's what I'm gonna do for my three looks, one palette. So you guys know I always show you a neutral look for those, and then um, two more colorful looks with them. So you'll be able to see how you can still get colorful looks out of this. Well, just kind of to sum up what I found today. That's a bright mirror. Yeah, first of all, I love the mirror and how large it is. Um, like I said, I dropped it and everything is still in good condition. Um, the matte shades do have a lot of kick up, which like I said, that doesn't bother me at all. I, it obviously says nothing about the shadow itself. Uh, some people just like to know that. So there was just a tiny bit of fallout from the matte shadows, but not a ton and it was easy to brush away. So I always use fixing spray to apply my shimmers. I think these shimmers are gonna apply better without a fixing spray. So I'll keep playing with them and in my three looks one palette, I'll have a better idea of how those shimmers apply um, the best. But I thought that was interesting because that's not typically the case for me. The colors I used today, they all blended really nice. I, I like how you can still see the different colors I use, but so it didn't turn out muddy, but it did turn out cohesive, which I really like. That's a good quality to have. Even though there's a lot of neutrals in the palette, I really appreciate that the darkest shade is not a black. So that darkest shade is like a really deep, deep green color, which I really like because I don't really like when there's blacks in palettes because you only need so many black shades. Um, but this is definitely a palette that you have everything you need in it. If you like a neutral look, but you like to add some color in, do a colorful look here and there. You have everything that you need in this palette. You wouldn't need to add anything to it. Uh, I would need to add a couple much of these place palettes, but um, you, like, you wouldn't need to. I created a very beautiful, colorful look today without adding anything else to it. I think she did a great job in picking out colors for this palette and 
and having something for everyone. So no matter who you are, you can create a look that you like. I love the look I created today. I don't think that you can still get it at Ulta. I think it's sold out online, but I do think um, it could be in your store. I took the last one in my store. I would love to know if you guys have them still stocked in your store or not, but I just think it's really cool. Um, I'll link Emily's channel down below, but she has been on YouTube for a long time. She's one of the first people that I started watching, and she has stayed very true to herself, and... I think that's probably why this is her first collaboration. I know she talks a little bit about it when she talks about the release of it and how this was really the first one that um, helped her stay to who she was, but also helped her to have a collaboration. And I love how all of the shade names are personal to her and the shades are personal to her. And I think that's amazing. This is definitely, like if you watch Emily, you know these shades are definitely Emily shades and <laughs> they speak to what she loves in an eyeshadow look. So that is my first impression. I have to say, so typically when people ask me what palette they should get, like if they're first starting out and they want a good quality palette, but they also want to have a little variety, I always say the Jaclyn Hill. And so I always say this Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette because it just has a lot of variety to it, but it also has some pops of color. Uh, this one's going to take its place, and I'll tell you why. First of all, it's cheaper, so if you're just getting into makeup, you really don't need to spend around $40, even though $40 is a good price for that palette. Second of all, it has got more colors to be able to play with that are still not crazy colors. So if you're just getting into makeup, but you want to try some color, but still have, I mean, there's still plenty of neutrals in here to create a completely neutral nude taupe toned look but then you've got some really pretty colors to bring into there too so i hope makeup revolution keeps this around for a long while because i am going to now be recommending this palette to people um, if they want to get a palette and have some options from it and not spend a lot of money good job emily and makeup revolution great palette i'm excited to do my three looks and share what my overall thoughts are after i play with it and use it some more i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye